today I'm making a special video. There's a man named Rob Searing, who is an avid gamer, works with the Dice Tower, has his own custom insert company for board games, and he's asking for some help. When talking with my co-founder, Phil, we were trying to think of ways we can help support him. And he's looking for financial support. He's a father of nine kids and lost his job recently. So he's got a GoFundMe, he's got a sale for some of his board games, for some of his inserts. And I thought that we could help by selling something as well and offering all the revenue from it to him as a donation. And so what I have here is a game that I designed in 2018. It's called Last Stand. And we've got uh, copies here in the office that we didn't sell because it just wasn't selling. And so we're gonna do a pay what you want model. So if you want to purchase Last Stand, you have to pay for shipping, but any any of the actual sale itself will go to, to Rob and his fund. And so we're doing the Priority Express boxes. It's $15 shipping all across the US. So if you're within the US, 15 goes to shipping, but the rest of it all goes to Rob. And this is a game that I designed and I'll, I'll show it to you a little bit so you can see a little bit of why this game is wonderful, exciting, great for all ages. It's a really light hearted game uh, with some interesting mechanics and the, the tagline, which I like a lot is your power grows as you lose. So let's take a look at it and see if you're interested. So we'll open it up. It's pretty simple though. and there's not that many components. This is a game on the lighter side with some great elements of strategy. The idea is everyone gets a deck and there's a red, blue, green, purple, which has their own powers. Everyone gets a deck of 25 cards randomly, gets rid of seven, five, six, seven, and then sets up their area. Zoomed out a little bit so you can see easier. But essentially with your 18 cards, you're setting up everything by looking at your cards. That's the first novel thing. You set up by taking a look and seeing what you want and maybe you like your moves down here, your rolls over here. All right, so I've set it up for two players. The way you win, get the other player to have zero cards left. So as purple player, I'll take my turn. I always start with three dice. I roll it, I can re-roll any if I want, but I'll keep these and I assign it. One on the one column, two on the two, four on the four. If there's multiple players, you can spread them out however you like. And then that player picks the cards up. So this goes into their hand. That's an interesting piece of decision-making. When you're attacked, you're getting towards losing every card, which if all cards are gone, you win the game, but you're also giving your enemy resources to affect the outcome of the dice going forward. So now red goes, uh, and then, you know, assigns a two, four, five. So you're picking up these cards. Now, before I go purple, there's two opportunities. You can play cards before dice are rolled or after they're assigned. So before, in case like this, I might wanna add one die. So I'll add one die in here. Does my opponent wanna play anything? No, all right, go ahead. And I got four dice going. Threes, yeah, you got doubles, so I can move a card anywhere I want. So I'll move it over there. I'll assign these two threes, a four, and a six. Now that dice are assigned, I can play cards myself or my opponent can play cards saying they want me to re-roll all the dice or whatever. They choose not to. They get a hand full of cards for their choice, for their turn. Now, before this put, player goes, it's gonna add one, add two, add three dice to the mix. Now it's at six, I'm gonna tell them, lose one die. All right, so you're starting with five. They roll, they're attacking. Now let's say we're getting near the end of the game and these are all the cards that are left. If I rolled this and I'm attacking red player, that player before they have to pick up their card, they might decide to move the top card of a column left or right out of the way 
and therefore they've avoided the hit. So that's where the strategy comes. As you're playing, you're moving cards around to keep them on the board to survive longer. Now the interesting part is, even though this is a take that kind of game where you're attacking other players, if you're the unfortunate person that gets attacked more than anyone else, what that means in this game is you get more resources to attack better to survive longer. So there's a bit of a balance to keep everyone fighting each other equally. And even if you're unequally attacked, you have more and more resources to fight back with. So that's the game itself. And like I said, we're doing a pay what you want model. All the revenue that comes in buying these will go to Rob. So if you wanna find out how to do that, go and uh, click the link in the description to buy the game. If you want to learn more about Rob and his situation or just donate directly to him, you don't have to buy this to donate. You can just go to his GoFundMe. There's a link to that as well. And if you're interested in more content about the games I've designed, I've published three games that I've designed myself. Feel free to leave a comment asking for that. I published games called Enfu Town Bumpers, Hangry Thief, and Last Stand. I have two unpublished games that are fully developed with art complete and everything that I'd never uh, actually published because of Board Game Atlas taking over. So if you're interested in hearing about Ultimate Fighters, Creatures of Titan, or Crack the Safe, you can ask about those. But this is a time to support our community. So please consider helping out Rob either directly through the GoFundMe or for buying a copy of Last Stand. Thanks.